Hello, I'm Mike Capuccio, and today's video is going to be about how you can use and where you can use different types of indoor and outdoor units from Mitsubishi Electric in your home. So we're going to be going through this video today as we walk through it. We're going to be showing different outdoor units, different indoor units, different types of actual wall mounted, floor mounted, ducted type units, all these different types of combinations and units that you hear about all the time and how they would work in your home for different types of scenarios you would maybe have in your home. So what we have here is an MUZ GL style unit. Now this unit here does not provide full heating at the low, low temperatures. So this unit would be good if you know, you just wanted a little bit of supplemental heat maybe in your home, in an area of your home. This unit also comes without heat. It comes with cooling only too. So if you were just looking to air condition a spot in your home, not your whole entire home, because this unit only comes made or designed as one outdoor unit and one indoor unit that go together. Okay, so the indoor unit that would go with this would be the GL style indoor unit. Okay, it's a basic indoor unit wall mounted, so it could either be a wall mounted air conditioner or it could be a wall mounted heat pump. All right, depending on how you buy this. You buy this with cooling only, you don't get the heat. You buy it with heat, you get the heat. It's more of a supplemental heat, maybe good for around 30 degrees outdoor air temperature. Okay, so this can be used, this um, most commonly is used in maybe a family room, possibly a um, addition on a home where you just really want air conditioning and some supplemental heat. There would probably be a full source of heat in that area. Very, very common unit that gets sold a lot in homes in uh, big living rooms, kitchens, dining rooms, um, bedrooms, things like that where there's only one, you only wanna do one area of your home. This is what we call a single zone system one indoor, one outdoor. What we have here is an FS style unit with one outdoor unit and one indoor unit. Okay, this is this is a hyperheat unit. Everything you see with hyperheat is an H2I logo you're gonna see on the actual outdoor unit. Now, a lot of people say, well, what the heck is hyperheat, Mike? Well, in previous videos, I had shown you a, a unit that would only heat at let's say 30 degrees outdoor temperature. So what do I mean by that? At 30 degrees, it's, the unit is only gonna produce so much heat. As it gets colder, the unit is gonna produce less heat. With hyperheat, that's not the case. When it's you know minus four degrees outside, zero degrees, if this unit is an 18,000 BTU heating and cooling air conditioner, it is gonna provide 18,000 BTUs of heating and cooling at those low temperatures, okay? Especially the heating side. That's what I wanna focus on right now is the heating side. So where would I use this particular type of, you know, wall-mounted air conditioner unit? It's really not even a wall-mounted air conditioner, it's a wall-mounted heat pump, okay? Because this provides heat as well. Again, this is the highest efficiency unit that we make from Mitsubishi Electric. And where does this, where can this be used? Well, this can be used in a variety of different spaces. I've seen it used in, in, in hundreds of applications. And I'm not even kidding you when I say hundreds of applications. I could go on and on about this, but the most common spots, I'll probably give you four or five of them right now, is uh, additions on a home where you might put a family room on the back of your home. This unit would go in there. Um, a three season porch that gets converted to four seasons and you need heating in it. You know, a lot of times those sun rooms or three season rooms are actually only two season rooms because it gets so hot in the summertime you can't use it and it's so cold in the wintertime you can't use it. So it's only actually only a two season room. This will make it a true four season room because it will now have heating and cooling at the, at the warm temperatures and the cold temperatures. Can be used in a bedroom, hot and cold bedroom spaces, very common spot of where this gets used. This gets used in basements a lot. Um, it does have a dry mode on it as well that will dehumidify the basement too. So you can use it in those areas where people refinish their basement. It's a real nice system for that. Comes in up to 18,000 BTUs. Again, highest efficient unit you can get. Um, I've seen it used in man caves. I've actually seen it used in net zero homes where only one unit was actually put in the home, in the living room to heat and cool an entire home that was so 
tight with insulation and air sealing and everything that the house had such a low heat load, they could only put in one wall mounted heat pump at that time. So, and then they were using transfer fans to move the air around in those areas in those net zero type homes. But this, this unit is very, 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 very versatile. It's probably one of our top movers or top sellers that we sell every day in additions, homes, spaces, um, rooms over garages this can be used in. I've actually seen it used in garages in a workshop. I've seen it put, I've put this unit in people's garages where they have um, antique cars, high-end cars where the garage needs to be air conditioned and heated in the winter time too. So very, very versatile unit can be used in multiple different spaces. Okay, so now we're over here at our MUY GL series that 24,000 to 36,000 BTUs. You can see the outdoor unit's a little bit bigger. This only comes in a one-on-one -on -one system, one outdoor, one indoor unit. You can obviously see the indoor unit is a little bit bigger than the units that I showed you previously, but spaces where this can be used. This is a very versatile unit. Um, this is a big spaces air conditioner or heat pump, okay? Comes in both, can, can come in air conditioning only or heat pump. Most common is the heat pump, okay? But um, I'm gonna give you a, a, a lot of areas of where this can be used. So as far as spaces go, I want you to think of a split level home where you kind of walk down the stairs and you walked up the stairs, they're roughly about 2000 square feet or so. And you know, the dad had maybe built the wall mounted air conditioner into the wall in the living room, dining room combination and it's been rattling the wall for years or it might've died. This is what goes in those places because this is 24,000 to 36,000 BTU. So this can handle anywhere from 800 square feet to 1200 square feet, depending on the area of a nice big wide open area. Those split level homes where, you know, you, you were trying to cool this big area. A lot of times we put this in split level homes and the air conditioning goes right down the hallway, you know, kind of tempers off some of the bedroom areas in there. This unit can also be used in like commercial spaces where we've used it a lot. Um, examples, small convenience stores, card stores, um, ice cream stores, things like that. You know, maybe even um, small diners, restaurants, things like that gets used a lot for supplemental cooling where they, they put it on the wall. And, you know, a lot of times when you have a lot of people in an area or in a restaurant in the summertime, you need additional air conditioning. This is the perfect solution for that. You put... I've put in, you know, two of these units in certain spaces, you know, 36,000 BTUs a piece. Now you're putting in, you know, um, you know, 72,000 BTUs of cooling into a space like that. And again, they just go right on the wall, drill outside, two units will sit outside and away you go. But this is a great, great unit to use in those types of applications as well. Basically designed for big, open spaces, whether it's you have a lot of people you need additional cooling, or you have a big space, that, wide open space that needs cooling and heating. So now we're moving into the multi-zone equipment, okay, where you have one outdoor unit with multiple indoor units. And I guess a lot of people ask us, hey, do I need a multi-zone unit? Do I need a single zone unit in my home? Well, a lot of it is different applications and where we, we would use a multi-zone unit. So these multi-zone units you can put anywhere from two indoor units on one outdoor unit up to eight indoor units on an outdoor unit. So different types of applications where you would use this. Um, let's say, I mean, I have I have two indoor units on this particular outdoor unit, one to the one right, to the right, one to the left. Designer indoor series wall mounted air conditioner and a regular GL style wall mounted air conditioner over here. So types of applications where this can be used. This is a great fit for um, addition. Let's say you have a downstairs family room addition where people go off the back of the house, they put a family room on the bottom and maybe a master bedroom above it. Now, you don't wanna use the existing heating and cooling system in the home. Probably won't be big enough or size big enough to even take on the additional space. So real cost effective way to do this is two wall mounted heat pumps on a dual zone unit. You take an outdoor unit, it's available on hyperheat and regular heating. I would recommend using the hyperheat at that point. Um, you know, most new additions are very well insulated. They're built to code, building code today, which is very tight. So we can do two wall mounted units on the outdoor unit. Put one in the master bedroom, one in the family room. Very, very common application. A lot of times 
you go into homes where it's an older style home, it might be a Cape home, or let's say it's an old ranch style home where, you know, it's um, empty nesters, just husband and wife still live there, living room, dining rooms open to each other. We put one unit in the bedroom and one unit in the living room kitchen area. So now it all works very well where you just put two units on it. Sometimes it's three because you can do up to three on this style unit with one outdoor fan. If we're going to go into more, we're going to go to probably a two fan unit or a three fan unit. But you maybe put one in the office, the den, the bedroom, the kitchen area. Okay, so now we've moved over to the bigger multi-zone outdoor condensing units and where these are used. So again, you see the H2I logo on the front. That tells us that it is hyperheat. That tells us it can heat at the low temperatures. This unit gets used in a lot of whole home applications. Now, what do I mean by that? This unit, you can put up to eight indoor units on it. It'll produce up to 48 to 54,000 BTUs of heat, pretty much what a regular furnace would produce in your house. So these are used a lot in whole home applications. Um, and again, you can put up to eight indoor units on it. So there is a variety of different types of indoor units that we can use with this particular outdoor unit. One thing different on this outdoor unit compared to the other multi-zone units I showed you previously is this needs what's called the branch box, okay? And this is where all the indoor units come back and get hooked up to. Now, if you were gonna use eight indoor units, you'd need two of these branch boxes because you can see I have one, two, three, four, five indoor units on this one, but I would need another box that I can do three to do the actual eight. So now, these actually go and get piped to the indoor units. So these can be go down over here. If you look, if I scroll over here a little bit further to my floor mounted unit, okay? In a, in a whole home application, I could put, you know, a couple of floor mount units downstairs in an open area. We can use wall mounted units as well as floor mounted units. We can even use ducted units up in an attic and mix and match through different, all types of different applications of whole home that we would be using. This is our whole home complete system. Okay, so one indoor unit I have not shown you yet is the MLZ um, KP unit that goes up into the ceiling, okay? I'm gonna show it to you up above my head here. It's hanging down, okay? And this sits right in between the bar joists or the rafters of the home. It can fit in a 16 on center area and a hole would get cut into the ceiling and this would go up. So you see the black section of that, you do not see. That is gonna sit up inside the ceiling. All you see is this white faced grill that would be flush with your ceiling at that point. And this comes in 9,000 up to 18,000 BTUs. It only has a one way blow. The air comes out one spot and goes in the front. It's called the easy fit unit. Can be used with multi-zone and single zone as well. Okay, so types of applications where this is used. This is used in a lot of whole homes, in master bedrooms where there's an attic above there, um, where you can get to the stuff above the top of the unit. But this is a lot of where people don't wanna see a wall mounted unit in the wall and they want something flush in the ceiling. This can be used in those types of applications. This is also used a lot on new construction as well. Okay, so one more ceiling recessed unit that I haven't shown you is the SLZ-12 unit. Now this air comes out in four different spots. You can see on the perimeter of it, we have four spots where air blows out and the return air pulls in through the middle. Again, this is what you would see on the ceiling, a two by two flush grill that would actually sit in the ceiling. Now, this cannot fit in between 16 by 16 on center joists. So there would be some carpentry that would need to be done to put this in. Um, we've put this in a lot of big family rooms, big high open areas. This also works really great in um, small office spaces as well, where you might have four or five small offices on a multi-zone system, where you might wanna put four or five of these in an office area. But it's, um, you know, it definitely needs some, a little bit of construction work, works very well on new construction as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna move into the units that we can actually use duct work on and mix a ductless and ducted system, okay? So what I have here is a low static indoor unit, okay? This is what we call our SEZ unit. And you can see in the front, this is where the air comes out. 
that's about six inches by 30 inches. That's the opening that would come out. Now you're probably saying, well, where would I use this type of unit and what type of application? Okay, this can be used in multi different types of applications. It can be used with a one-on-one, -on -one, one outdoor condenser, or in a multi-zone application in a whole home. So the most common and popular space where this gets used is a master bedroom. Very quiet unit because it doesn't have a lot of static pressure. So it keeps the bedroom very, very quiet in a nice quiet area where you're trying to sleep at night. And it can also feed the master bathroom too. Um, you don't want to put this in an area in a big wide open area or try to do two or three bedrooms with this because it just does not have the static pressure to do that. It's a very low static unit, very quiet, and has multiple fan speeds on it as well. Okay, so now I'm moving over to another unit that you can put ductwork on as well, and it is used in a multi-zone application, and it is always used a lot of times in a whole home application because this can do a very big area, and it also has the ability to have backup electric heat on it. There's an electric heater that can sit on the top of the actual air handle. Now this can be used in an attic along with you know, multiple floor mount units, wall mount units or whatever. And we could do the whole top floor of the home, say it had three or four bedrooms upstairs. We put this up in the attic, we do ductwork, make that into one zone. And basically like a central air conditioning system, we would put this to just do the top floor and mix match it with, with wall mounts and ducted units as well. Any space, or any type of home that you have, you can use Mitsubishi electric heating and cooling products to heat and cool your entire home. Um, we've been doing it for years and years and years now, um, whether it's replacing a boiler, adding a heat pump to your system, integrating controls into the existing home, doing an addition on a home, doing a whole home, doing a man cave, doing a home office, whatever it might be. Um, we've seen all of these spaces in all different types of homes in all different types of areas over the last 35 years of being in business and you can use these products just like you can use any other product to heat and cool your home so you know feel free to reach out to us we have a wealth of knowledge of what we've done with these products and i'll tell you if you have an application we've probably done that type of application and can help you with that planning